album cover as well as all her promo material. Mm. I mean, after doing such an expansive body of work with one person, would you say you know them quite well after that? Or did you know her already going into the situation? No, I didn't know her at all before. She actually contacted me. So it was kind of, uh, whoa, Sinead O'Connor contacting me, yeah. looking, looking to do Brilliant. a show. So I was kind of really chuffed about that. It was actually done, she'd done it on Twitter, actually. Wow. <laughs> she, she, she tweeted something like, um, does anyone know a good Irish photographer who'll do some like, promo stuff? And, or someone who follows me on Twitter. And I don't tweet that much. said, um, oh, you should try Don Maloney. He's really good, blah, blah, blah. And the shots are fabulous. And they're so gorgeous. And I don't think I've ever seen Sinead O'Connor look so striking. Can you tell me a bit about that shoot? I mean, it's obviously on location somewhere. Is that, is that what you do a lot? Do you take people out of your studio? I, 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 to, be, to, be, to be 100% honest, I do probably prefer shooting on location more so than the studio because there's just more layers when, when you're when you're in a location or whether it be a building an abandoned building and I have a thing for abandoned buildings I've noticed your yeah, yeah I do really love abandoned buildings and um, it's just when you go into a building like that with someone you want to shoot them you've got so many natural layers within the building okay that you can move them around and, and you're going to get something natural no matter where you point your camera so would you, re would you go and have a look at a space first or do you wait to get kind of inspired as soon as you arrive in? Do you send someone else and then they come back and say, this is it? That's another thing. Whether, whether it be commercial work or personal work, I always do a recce. Do you? I hate arriving in a location not knowing what to expect. Okay. I like to go down, have a look at the location, see where I'm going to shoot and uh, work it from there. I don't like arriving on spec anywhere. So tell me what happens um, on a... On a shoot day, let's say Sinead's shoot day, mm -hmm. would you have a plan very much in mind of how this day is going to unfold or would you almost kind of wing it from shot to shot? Oh geez, no, 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 never wing it. No. Um, no, myself and Sinead got together a couple of days after and it's actually, the hair is actually Sinead's idea. She wasn't getting enough publicity with the original title for the album and the original cover or whatever and she thought that it would cause a bit more of a stir if she put she put some wigs on okay. and lo and, and behold did. it did and her record company loved it so much that they decided that whoa this this could be really cool so they changed the album cover and she then got to change the name of the album so it was great to be part of that yeah. do you know what i mean so it's kind of a collaborative effort then she came to the table with ideas and yeah. then you styled the shots and you you both bounced off each other and came together with this beautiful product exactly but she's a very creative person as well so she's she's great to work yeah. with because you can bounce ideas off her and she... Sounds she, like you she, had a lot of fun doing that. Ah, oh, it was great, yeah. No, yeah. It was really good.